Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how you can use the GeoGebra Classic to show or hide objects using drop down menu. Alright, let's go straight. Let me show you how to do it. To start, you go to your input under the algebra side, just create a list and define your list as L1 equals to, then use the curly brackets. Okay, no, I supposed to use the curly. Let me delete this. Let's delete this. Okay, so just say L1 equals to then take your curly bracket. Then you can start putting the names of the object you want inside the curly bracket. But take note if you want to put the names of the object, use your inverted comma. So I, I don't want the first drop down to show any object, so I just keep a blank inverted comma then the next one or right, let me take something like a triangle you know i'm a mathematics teacher so i always work with mathematics let me assume i want to put a triangle here let me type in triangle okay all right let me take the next one i want to put the next object i want to put let's assume it's a square so you take your inverted comma as well type in your square let me just make it three objects, the comma again. Take an inverted comma. Let me just put which shape will I use that is also easy for us. Okay, let me say rectangle. Alright. Okay, so let's take for example triangle, square, and rectangle. I want to show them in this place using a drop down menu. So after creating a list, leave the first inverted comma blank. Then use inverted comma for the remaining three objects you want to appear then just tap the enter button so you have it then come and click here you see these three dots click on these three dots let me do it again so click on these three dots go to setting on that setting you will see drop as draw a drop down list so as you click on this see your drop down menu has appeared then you close it if you click on the drop down you will see them the first one is blank that's why nothing is shown there so the next one triangle you click on triangle you see triangle appear here when you click on square square appears in this place you click on a and rectangle rectangle appear here so let me correct the spelling of this rectangle so if you click on this you can edit Okay, something and we just click on enter see uh, okay let's move on now so now I need to give a name to my drop down so to do that come to this place again click on these three dots go to setting you will see under this drop down when I click on that caption let's give a name let's assume I want to what I want to do here is maybe area of these three object i have here let me see the caption i want to appear is area let's say area of let's say plane ships let's say this is the name i want so area of plane ship that's what i want to label this drop down menu so as you put it on the caption just click your enter you see it has come in there so that is that so you have done that you can if you want to move it around the screen just right click on it then move about make sure you right click to move it around the screen anywhere you want to put it on the screen so let me just leave it somewhere here so you click on it see all of them anyone you click it will appear and that is that all right now how do i start calling them forth with the various shapes i want now let me show you something so come to the next entry port and line now just type select as you type s e l you see selected element has appeared selected index since i'm working on object even with not anyone element or index can do the same work for you so i let me just use index in this case you see selected index then list as you click on this so inside this place put the name of this list which is l1 just type l1 so you see number one has appeared then click on enter 
So the selected index is defined as A. So take note of this. This A is very important. And it's showing one here because I'm in the first empty space. If I click on triangle, see two will appear because triangle is the second one. If I click on rectangle, three will appear there. Sorry, four will appear because rectangle is the fourth one. Starting from one, two, three, four. So you can see it there. If I click on square, three will appear. All right, so let's click on this. So now let me draw the shapes I want. So I start with a um, triangle. Just get your polygon. Just draw your three side triangle. So that is that. So let's keep it. So just like that. You can import any shape of your choice. This is GeoGebra Classic. You can do anything you want. So this is my triangle. Just like that. You can. Uh, import any shape as i said so these are the three points of the triangle all right so if i want to put in the formulas you can go to your text if i want to type in the area of this just go and say a equals to you can go to advanced under latex formula you see fractions then under a you remove a and put your one then remove B and put your 2 there. So this is 1 over 2. Then base, just say B. Then go to this symbol. You get your time there. B times H. So I've done that. So this is a, a triangle. So let's remove this. Let's undo this. It's okay. I don't want this. Let me cancel this. So if I want to make the text look larger, just click on it, come to this place, increase the font, maybe to large, and make it bold, just like that. And this is the triangle. All right. So what next? So let me create in the other ones. That is the square and the rectangle. So now what do I do? I want to click on any of this and it will show the value it wants. So let me start with the triangle. So to start with the triangle, all I just have to do, let me right click on the screen and drag. I want to select all the elements here. So see they are all selected. Then right click on it, go to setting, go to advanced condition to show remember the name of the selected element this is a is the name equals to just type a equals to remember triangle is number two on the drop down just say equals to two then click on enter we are good to go that is done yeah, okay so if i click on square now you see everything has disappeared so let's do the same we did here, so you write. So this is this. So if I want to position, let me position them on one place on the screen. So I want everything to be here. So this is triangle. So click on square, see square we appear. Let me copy all of them and move them up. I want all of them to be somewhere here. Just move it here. So that is that. Go to this. You can hide every other windows sorry just click on this you can close this you can remove the grid i don't need grid close this so this is what i have you can move this just right click it drag it to anywhere you want it to be i can put it here 
and let's watch so now area of plane shape which shape do you want go to your drop down i want square to appear square has appeared let me move it to the middle let's say somewhere here so this is the square this is the object you can do any editing you want you are the one teaching in your class you can put whatever you put you can put a point that is why GeoGebra is dynamic all right i need a rectangle just click on rectangle you see the formulas appear i need a triangle just click on it it has appeared so i don't want anything to show on the screen click on this so this is how you show or hide object using drop down menu in GeoGebra classic before I go, let me see if I can make this um, font large. Let me see if I can go to um, settings. Let me see. This is where I can increase the text. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Alright, it's there. So let me see if I can make it bold. Okay, it's already bold. Alright, I think we are okay. So, area of plain shape. I need rectangle coming out. I need triangle. I need square. Don't want anything. So this is how you can show or hide object using a drop down menu in GeoGebra. You can actually do a lot. You are the one teaching your class, whatever you want. Just create your list on your algebra view type all the elements you want on the list whatever you want to appear type them on the list then go to your setting of under the list you can get your draw down there then create your drop down then create a selected element under your selected element you assign a number to each of these drop down then you now go to condition to show all of them and you are good to go as you click on any of them to show here I don't want anything to show. You go to empty. I want x square. You click on it. Square has appeared. I don't want anything to show. You click on this. I want rectangle. You click on it. I don't want anything to show. You click on this. So this is how you can create. This is how you can show or hide object in GeoGebra Classic using drop down menu. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.